Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a look at the PXG series of irons that have just, I won't say just been released, they've been here in Australia for a little while officially with a new, new distributor. Um, this model here is, is the T model. Now they've currently got, well there's quite a few models, but if we have a quick look on the wall up here, starting from a blade, they've got this blade which is they call that the ST, which is almost like a, I mean, it's a blade, right? Beautiful looking club. Then we move into uh, a CB, like a cavity back there. You know, pretty thin top line. Pretty thin there too. The next one in is, is this one, which I'm curious about, which is the T. Now, it's got a bladey look for sure. It doesn't have a particularly, um, you know, thick bottom line there. Can you see that? You know, the faces, the faces, I'm just whacking things here. The face is pretty small. But it's actually like a muscle back, foam filled style club. Like a, I shouldn't say it, but like a, a P790, something like that. Um, and then after that, we go into the, the Gen 6, now Gen 7, in a, in a P and an XP. The XP is really forgiving, the P is quite forgiving. So I want to hit the T, which is kind of for that lower, lower handicapper, right? And see how it performs, and then we might run it against the CB. But they're the two models we'll have a, a good look at today, the T and the CB. Okay, so the best thing about these as far as, you know, if you come to an authorised fitting centre like us, this weight here is actually interchangeable. So if the swing weight's a little light, which in this case, I, I, you know, she's a little light D1, with a Modus 105S shaft, we just, and it should be black, but I've just got a, a, a chrome one here. And we just put a chrome weight in during the fitting. Change it out. Like I said, it should be black from factory. But just for the purpose of the fitting, I wanted the swing weight a little heavier. So we just changed the weight. I mean, what a great fitting system. Is that, have you ever seen anything like that? You know, in, incorporated into a fitting system. Now that wasn't hit anywhere near the center of the club. So that didn't feel particularly good. First swing of the day. Um, maybe the lie, oh, the lie's fine. Right out of the heel. Nearly shanking over. Oh, that felt beautiful. So, you know, how forgiving, oh, that's a pretty good shot. I mean, it's not supposed to be overly forgiving, right? Yeah, that was hit right out of the center. Can't do better than that. That's it, finished. That's hooked. I suppose it's got plenty of not bad ball speed, really. For th this is a 32. Oh man, that feels great. I've got a little left going on. I need to sort that out. Um, yeah, it feels money when it's out of the center. They've gone the same distance in all fairness, so that's a good thing as well. I necked that a little bit, but I'm, I'm just trying to get it out to the right a bit. Pretty good shot. You know, maybe this, I mean, the lie angle's presenting pretty well. Interesting thing with these um, PXGs, as we're building them. Ooh, that felt good. I think I got that little toe side. Different part of the club for me. So a little toe, yeah, out of the toe, still went good. Hmm, that's nice, that's really great. So the, the, the interesting thing about the PXGs, we, so it's a 37 inch seven iron. Right, that's the advertised length. Felt great, gave that a little bit of extra. So 
Yeah, good shot. Um, it's a 37 inch 7 iron, but that's actually a cut length. So they are probably longer, slightly longer. Yeah, nice shot. Slightly longer than most golf clubs because we cut them at 37. Awesome. Love that. Yeah, I like it. I like this iron. It's really cool. Feels great. Um, it looks a little scary. Like, it looks small. So I'm a little bit scared of it. But maybe every now and then you need to get a little bit scared to, to produce some good shots. I'll, I'll throw the CB and see how that goes. Okay, I got the, the CB. Again, I've just changed the head weight, which is great. I mean, so impressed with the system, to be fair, in all the fittings we've done. Great system. Looks a doesn't look, doesn't look much smaller, to be honest. So I like that, but it still looks small. Felt good. Good shot. I've definitely got a little left going. That felt like I hooked it again. Probably need a golf lesson to be fair. Probably time. Probably time. You know, I've always, um, with my low spin, that's heavy. That's gonna be, um, let's try and not to hit it left. That's gonna be flattering, I feel like. Um, I always thought, what if I just give myself a little bit of extra Loft, give myself some more spin. It's a better swing, get forward better there. I didn't quite hit it well. I think, look, I think the T, comparing now, comparing the T to the CB, I can, I can see a little bit of extra forgiveness in the T. It's a great shot. You know, if I had to choose one, they're both kind of scary looking, size-wise. Um, but there's, there's plenty. A little bit more forgiveness in the tea. There's plenty of research that says the more you scare yourself, you know, the better you force yourself to be. So, you know, they've got those Mura, Fujimoto, are two that come to mind that have those mini blade. It's like a tiny little blade club. And it, that felt great. I mean, look, they both feel amazing out of center. I think the T nudges it on, on just the off center strike. Um, but if you, can, if you can get out of your comfort zone, give yourself something a little harder to hit every now and then, Felt great too. Is it going to be, you know, beneficial long term? Probably. You know, maybe I should just get a set of blades, suck it up, and learn how to hit the ball better, rather than thinking, yeah, let's go for some uh, forgiveness. I'll just hit one more. A little scoopy rama, but but good. It's good. All right, let's crunch a few little numbers. Okay, so everything kind of checks out as it should do with um, very similar ball speeds, which is great. CB, uh, a little bit more consistent actually there. Launch angle CB is up 0.7, but it has one degree more of loft, so that's normal. And so then a couple of hundred RPM more on spin as well. So um, almost identical distance-wise, one meter more in the T uh, dispersion almost the same, right? So we're getting very, very similar shots. Um, you know, I swung similarly, I suppose, in the CB. I, I, I picked up, you know, a tiny little bit of pace, but nothing really there. Dynamic loft, again, it's gonna be up because it's got more loft. So, and hit in similar places, I suppose. T, a bit more centered than the, than the CB. So, really similar, doing exactly what they should do. Uh, both perform great. Let's have a, Let's just have another quick glimpse at these faces. You can see there, the T is at the bottom here, 
and you can see how it's just a smidge. There's a smidge more extra groove there, maybe two mil of extra groove. So it's just a little bit bigger, the T, than the CB. And it just, it probably gave me a little bit more confidence. It felt a little bit nicer because maybe hit a little bit closer to the center, a little bit better on the off center strike. So, I mean, there's a, there's a club for everybody. If, if you want a little bit more spin, a little bit more launch than a CB, both better players clubs, you know. Certainly don't recommend either of them for, I don't know, double handicaps or more say. I mean, I don't like to pigeonhole people into handicap ranges, but if you're like a 20 marker, you probably shouldn't be playing the T. You probably should go into the P. Another good thing about the product line, they've got something for everyone. So I love the adjustable weight. I love that we can do it while fitting. And so when we build a set of these, they will be within 0.2 of a swing weight from four iron to, to nine iron or pitching wedge, whatever you want it at, we can get them within 0.2 of a swing weight every single time. And that is unheard of in the industry. Even the best you know, claim to be within 0.5, within a half a swing weight, we can get them within 0.2 because we're working with half a gram weights. So there's an eight gram, say for example, the next one's eight and a half, nine, nine and a half, ten. 10. We can really, really fine tune that at the end of the building process. So never seen anything like it. I know, I know that this is not the only one with, a, with a, a changeable weight. I'm not sure how they do their systems. I'm not sure if those other companies offer that as part of their fitting, but certainly here in Australia, we get the best of the best down here. So I, I know you guys get it elsewhere as well, but um, so, yeah, check them out. Great clubs, nice for the for the better player.